There's 3D printing, electronics, lasers, printer corner, and other stuff too. Alright guys, welcome back to Greg's Maker Corner. Today we're continuing the Hypercube Evolution build and we're going to be looking at these plastic parts and putting what's called knurled nuts in them. This is kind of what they look like, and I'm going to talk about the techniques that I used after doing some research and kind of experimenting a little bit. The goal would be to get all those parts prepared so that I can resume putting the Hypercube Evolution together. So these are M3 nuts, and basically you have to heat them up and insert them into the plastic part. Um, I'm, I'm kind of trying it out for the first time. Never done this before. Um, I have watched a few videos and decided on the method. So the first one I did... I got it a little too hot and it melted some of the outside plastic which I filed down. Um, the next one I did I was pretty happy with. Um, went right in and it didn't really melt any plastic. So the method that I'm going to use is you basically heat up the uh, the tip of or the, the insert on the tip of a screw um, along with while you're holding it with pliers so you don't burn yourself. Basically you're going to light this. I light it for about seven seconds. I found that to be the ideal time. And then I insert it in and I drop it straight down in. And then I just kinda use the, the screw, turn the screws I need it to make sure it's nice and straight. There was another method that I, I looked at and it was using a heat gun. I do have a heat gun, but um, the guy that showed that was waiting like 60 seconds before he would insert the nut and I just didn't wanna wait that long. So these are, these lighters are like um, nine bucks and it's like a torch lighter, so. Kind of gives a nice cool blue flame and it really heats it up quickly so i think this is the way to go okay so here i go one two three four five six seven this goes nice and easy but i see a little bit of that plastic goo so i, I recess it just a tad and then um, you're just gonna let it kind of sit there for a second. Yeah, I definitely noticed when I did them cooler, I didn't have the melted plastic as bad as when I the first one I did, so I think it's fine. Um, I'm just gonna clean this one out a little bit. I should be good. Yeah, so I opened that up. Something I've been kind of challenged with on this build is just the lack of instructions. It's really hard to find good documentation. So I did find in the actual Hypercube Evolution Wikipedia <clears throat> that there were some pictures of where I need to put the knurled inserts. So I'm going to go ahead and follow these instructions. Uh, this is for the Y-axis. Here is a picture or a video of all the heat sets that I put in. So I could not find this anywhere in one place on the internet. So maybe I'll do my part of the contribution here by showing you. possible that I may have missed a few. I ended up taking screenshots that so you can see behind here during the video. The knurled inserts were pretty challenging, probably about the toughest part of the build um, because it's they're really easy to mess up and there's a lot of plastic that oozes. There are different options if you don't want to use the knurled inserts. Um, I eventually got used to using them and uh, everything came together, but I did end up putting a couple in the wrong spot because I was eager to get through it and not paying attention. Just take your time putting those neural inserts in and make sure that you've got all the right spots. Use all the resources you can, watch videos. I think the Dow High videos are one of my favorites for seeing where the neural inserts need to go. And I'll, I'll put those in the uh, description. 